Johnny. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I've been up to the have some more blood taken out of my head. <laughs> um, I'm just keeping fit, keeping healthy, and make, making sure the brain works properly. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you ring me this, this morning? Uh, no, no. But uh, uh, I might have slipped on the key a bit, um, ringing somebody else. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's um, Bundy, white guy. I want to have a good talk with him afterwards, so I'll just wait till he finishes uh, talking to the other person, and then I'll fill him in where we are at the present time. Anyway, while I'm here, on. Uh, the video. I've uh, put a few more documents onto um, Facebook and um, one in particular was a, a video um, of this guy that's um, saying the same things as I've been saying for uh, quite some time now with the um, um, motu propria, that's the Pope's laws uh, that he has uh, removed from being used uh, because there was too many complaints against the, um, um, uh, those laws. The UCC law, the um, Admiralty law, uh, the Canons law, Courier law and civil law was being abused uh, by um, fraud, uh, Crown Corporation people in, in particular. Um, and church and state and a few things like that that's gone in front of the um, uh, Catholic Church that's uh, created those laws, coded laws, uh, for political reasons and for uh, financial reasons. Uh, but however, uh, I just show you this guy. Um, he's um, how to effectively remove yourself from Babylon and, and stop using identification. But there was another video uh, that he put on that I'll try and find, uh, uh, which um, basically says that the church uh, and its beliefs uh, have been corrupted. Um, basic info and warning about treasury direct and using Mammon's codes. So I'll just put the camera on there so that you can see what I'm writing. See, so I've got, he sounds like what I'm saying all along, stop using UCC law because the Pope destroyed these laws because he's getting too many complaints about fraud using Canon's law, Courier law, Civil law, Admiralty law and UCC coded law is now redundant as on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street in Auckland. My barrister scoffed at motu propria. Now his name is in the criminal fraudster, Devi Detter's bill box with John Key, ex-New Zealand Prime Minister, now in New Zealand bank criminal fraudster, still hiding away no longer. Time's up uh, this round. He has la libeled Australia now. Notice what this guy is saying. Use your own belief systems and laws of the King of England, UK against the Church Bible political law. But I'll just show you a little bit of, about what he's talking about. <clears throat> and I've um, putting these into our court case in Hello, Auckland. Everybody. Speaking to you today from Edmonton, Alberta, and today is the eight, second day of August. That would be the eighth month of 2017. Pretty sunny here today in Edmonton. What I've come to you today, group, uh, the group here as a society of men and women, having faith and belief in a creator above themselves, something higher in omnipotent relationship to everything else is that there is a national struggle for people to leave the fraud government that has been in place for many centuries. When I say fraud government, those of us that follow scripture know that the scripture says, do not add to my law, do not take away from my law, this I command you. 
Now these commands in the Bible have been for millennia obeyed and prayed over and watched over and taught. There's nothing strange about the commandments. When men come along with parliaments and legislatures and they make laws, they're violating Deuteronomy 4, 2, 12, 32, where God said he commanded us not to make laws and not to add to his laws or take away from them. So it's quite interesting that in Deuteronomy 4, 2, Deuteronomy 12, 32, our creator is very clear about the commandments. They're proof. Here he is. Yeah, hi, buddy. Who? Oh, uh, Waikiri Puru. Eh? What's his name? Oh, I see. <clears throat> I see. Okay. Right, right. Right, right. Right, yeah. You just conserve your time and energy. And just conserve your time and energy. They'll do their part. There's, yeah. there's still a lot of ground to cover, and I think uh, it's all coming together, uh, even on their even on their part. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go. We have to go with this one in one hit um, yeah. to try and make something um, work against the system. Um, and especially with land anyway, if, if they're dealing with land, we're going to get to that part. <clears throat> but I've found more things to quicken up the pace when we come, when we come to Auckland. I think I'm, I'm just going to flick you up a few things here and there. But I'm basically putting all the best words together <clears throat> for the... For the, for the information Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to be uh, made sure that um, we, we, we're covering all the law base, uh, yeah. that they can't do anything. When we come to Auckland, that one piece of land is going to make all the difference in the world because yeah. <clears throat> they have lost the case against me. That's one thing. Uh, yeah. And that we can... Uh, it'll be... A, at the end of the day, it's a paramount chief that that is the key. That's been the missing key all along. And, and that's all they're waiting for, to uh, put the puzzle together on this end, because it's, it's going to ring right through the world. Yeah, uh, and, and, and I think this is when everybody doesn't realise yeah. that uh, when, when, like, when, when, um, when I cleared it, when I spoke to um, uh, someone hearing about it, yeah. Yeah, so. That's why I call the Bible meeting a week specifically just to boost those to the Paramount Chief into the position under the Bible meeting. Yeah, so that's, it's only going to take you and, and, and uh, Manahi and, 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 and uh, Hedewini to yes. click it off because it can't, those people have to be, have to be taught what, what it is. And un unless they're up to that speed, it's very difficult for them to change gear into something that should have been taught long ago. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's, and the church bits as well. The church has been thrown out all over the place. And now the church bit is coming back into it again. Um, uh, that video I sent to you with that guy that's been talking, he's saying what I've been saying with the motu propria uh, as being uh, taking the, the taking the power off the people abusing it, abusing those those admiralty laws and, and the UCC law, all those codes are gone now, but they don't want to let go of it. That's what happened in Auckland with my case. The barrister just scoffed it and said to me, no, nah, they don't recognise that, but they're supposed to, but they just ignore it, but not this time. Uh, when we go into Auckland, all we had to do, Bundy, was to uh, uh, notify whoever, like John yeah. Key, notify John Key, and 
two or three others, not too many, for our first case. And if they don't turn up, which they won't, then that constitutes a case, a two-hour online case, straight into the Rolls Building in the Admiralty Court in London. And they'll, they'll all we have to do is pay for two hours case. And if if it shows that they never responded for many times, right? For many times, and this is the last shot of notice, then the court will make their decision straight away over there and rule. Then we go and pick the land up. Then that 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 will set the whole thing off. That's that's all it's going to take, uh, Bundy, because too many people, too many people are watching, and the best defense of all is a YouTube video. You, you, you don't need too many, you can't alter a video because it's live flesh and blood. And they have to dispute it. No one is. You see? Uh, it might be an idea if I knew uh, what your agenda is for the hui. Well, the agenda is that you're coming up on Thursday night. Thursday night. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yep, yeah. Well, you've got a handle of all of that. So yeah. it might be an idea if I do come up just to film. I, it, I don't need to say anything because yeah. I, I'll fix my own thing for Auckland on the commercial yeah. side and I'll just film it. I'll just film it because I know what... Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got he heaps of uh, space for, for doing that on the videos. Uh, Yeah. Now, I can pay them, I just haven't got any one of those cards. What do you call them then? Oh, FPOS. FPOS. Hey? FPOS. No, no, we've got an FPOS card, but you know the thing that they are for when you just... One of those debit cards or whatever it is. Yeah, that's all it is, the FPOS. You just go to your FPOS card. It's got a Visa card, isn't it? you got a Visa card. Oh, I haven't, I haven't used mine as a, mine as Fpos. Oh, Fpos. It's a bank yeah. card, a normal bank card, uh, will do. Yeah. A no, normal. Oh, good. Is it? Oh, it's going to be, a, oh, I see. Yeah, uh, okay, well, how do you want to do it then? How, how, how do you want to do it then? You could put the money in my account and I can pay it off my debit card or you can use somebody else's debit card. Okay, that's better. I, I, just, I just haven't used it, so I'm, I'm going to try that. 
Yeah. Yeah. I can't find it again. It's not on my uh, Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um I'll, I'll, well, I'll 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 text it to you. I'll text it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's better because if you haven't got on I'll I'll email it as, again as well. Um the flag place um uh, and then you can do it from there. And, and try again with the debit card because it should work. Well, well you know, the, the cost of it was it with the, uh, the, 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 uh, courier it up as well? Yeah, that, that, they can courier it up as well. But you can talk to them because that's all in the cost, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's quite expensive, 99. Oh, that's a big one, that's the big flag. The other one's 40, 40, 40, uh, 43 dollars, it's the smaller one, half the size. But the bigger one's a better one, Yeah, the bigger one is more prominent. It's, 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 it's like the big ones they fly at the Waitangi. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's a heavy duty one. It's a heavy duty and a higher quality. And, yes. and it's the right one for, for lasting longer. It yeah. might cost a little bit more, but the other ones are like the Chinese ones, don't last long, they start ripping. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to make a big difference when you've got one of those flying, and and especially, especially on, uh, yeah, when you when you start using it when, when yourself, it's your flag to use as an authority. It's it's the authority, the real one. <coughs> They'll suddenly realise what what the hang dead flag is all about once you start wearing it or doing things with it legally. That's uh, it's legal now, but. It's how to use it. Yes. How to use it. Then that's what I'm putting this box together for you. Um, but I'm I'm going to be the hui in Auckland will be more like the 15th and 16th of uh, September. I'm just giving myself a bit more time, but I'm not going to rush <coughs> to do that. So, so you're going to be giving me a hard copy? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you the stamp and the book, um, 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 binded book. And then I'll I'll tell you which which little briefcase to put it in, one that like, like a leather one, like like a like a lawyer's one. They they put the file into the cabinet. And that's your portable cabinet with the stamp. Uh, I'm I'm going to get the stamp done, but I'm choosing the right words so that they they are meaningful for a long time. Uh, yeah, I'll ring my mate Desmond and Gisborne to come up, and we'll come up because I think it's important to get it from the ground level, uh, from the spiritual level, to get this thing going in the fashionable uh, way, how it started off in Hokkien and, and all the rest of how who you are and where it all started from. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's the spiritual side of uh, both sides, the church and representing the church and how it looks better f coming from that point of view. Yeah, okay then. Okay, Bundy. Thanks. Good fellow talking. Yeah, okay. Same here. Yeah. Okay. When, when's the who again? What day? It's on the 17th. Oh, yeah. Who? Yeah? Well, we've got a bus, and he's going to charge everybody $20. We can, we can leave his, our know, cars there, and his place, and jump on the bus. Oh. $20, and he'll take us to the outdoor, to the outdoor, and we'll have to go for the outdoor, and back to his place. Oh, okay.
Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll, we'll look at that when we get to the uh, closer to the day. So the 17th is... Come over to my place when you get here. Yeah, that'd be better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. Bye. Cheers, bud. Yeah. Well, that's Bundy. Looks like I'm going up now. I think I, I feel like I, I, I need to go up just to film, not to talk, just to film, because they've got everything sorted up there. I just need to turn up and and uh, film and do all the commentary, running commentary, uh, with my cameras, um, so it'll come out better that way. I'd rather do the um, legal videos myself and join that bit to the Auckland uh, bit. Uh, so I'm just telling them I'm not in a hurry to do the Auckland case. <clears throat> until we sort it out up there first. Um, no panic. Uh, so that's all for now on this video. Um, apart from um, <clears throat> me saying something about uh, this guy talking about the treasury uh, and um, um, the church um, uh, authority in politics. The church in politics um, is their own way of uh, treasury picking up money uh, and you don't have to sign into it. The OPPD uh, was that um, organization that the uh, US federal state was putting together to switch all the money, this all this scam going on where they've hidden all the gold and hidden all the money from the um, New York, New York uh, Twin Towers bombing and um, he's talking about that as well and the fact that the the, all the stories of, of the Vatican is all adding up to hiding everything that they've been scamming all this time with the Queen away from everybody to make it look like it's not their fault. And the Pope has thrown all the laws back at the people and says, well, we've got nothing to do with you. You, you. If you get caught with it, that's your problem. He said, to hell with all our laws we did in Rome. You, we've got a new world order now. You, you can do what you like with it because it's nothing to do with us. They're liable. The Pope is liable because we already got it on him before that happened. Before he got rid of his motu proprio, getting rid of all these, hiding these uh, crimes with Queen Elizabeth II when she went into EU Parliament. And um, the United Nations is owned by the Pope and the Vatican. And they're using all that money to build their armies up to shoot everybody off the planet so that they get to keep all the wealth. They screwed our Admiralty flag because he got rid of the Admiralty law so that he's not caught with the Admiralty law. No, you're being caught with the Admiralty law because that's how you made your wealth. Pope, this video is for you. I'm citing you on this video. And I'm citing the Queen for using this flag to defraud the people of the world and to commit conspiracy to defraud and did defraud the people of the world with the King's Admiralty Law, court martial law and banking and trading with this flag. You have no trading flag and now you've got rid of all those laws you put together to screw everybody in America and screw everyone around the world and now run off. Uh, so this man here is basically saying uh, the same thing. Edward J. Robin, he's an ex-minister of the church, and he's uh, just telling the story about how the church is being used politically and not its real reason for looking after the people. They were looking after themselves and their own private business. So that's all I want to say really uh, for now, uh, as I have a big job now to uh, run all the films up north and um, take full account, I'm taking full account of how the British got here, how the churches screwed the natives off their land and turned them natives into collateral. And this is churches for you. But they're having a cleansing up there of churches and everything else going on. And we're coming in with the commercial arm of the law here in Auckland, right over the top of the political uh, corrupted government here and the police and the courts and 
the ministers, political ministers of the establishment here in Wellington. You're all on notice. On this video, you're all cited as being fraudulent criminal thugs. I'm saying that openly and with this flag and with our authority right here, the eight-point star of municipalities of St. Patrick's Church Order in Belfast and King William III and this flag, King William IV, Admiralty, Financial Martial Law to screw your lot off the land and all your wealth, your stolen, is seized back with a writ warrant, a writ of control and possession, repossession of the land in the world, starting from here in New Zealand. That's what I'm saying to Bundy. We're going to have a court case. We're going to start off with the spiritual side of cleansing up north with the churches and the political way they've used churches to steal land, birth certificates and personal property, memorials and land and resources, natural resources for their own private banking investment interests using our Admiralty Law and now the Pope has got rid of his Admiralty Law, he screwed off the Queen who screwed it off us, the natives and the King who gave us the Admiralty flag to screw you lot. Now we're going to screw you lot with the authority higher than your courts. If there's any court in the world that's higher than anyone at the right now at the moment, it's the paramount native magistrate courts. They start the ball rolling, set up a court case, one court case on 77 Cook Street. You had it coming. You've been notified enough times publicly and did nothing about it. You simply ignored King's Law. Not anymore. Because your name goes in the box, you're up in front of the court. And if you don't turn out, the British will come after you. They will come after you because you broke their law and our law in a private contract, two-way contract, partnership of Admiralty right here in this flag. It's live, people. It's legal, legitimate and authoritative. Okay? So that's what I want to say for now. Today being Monday the 7th of August 2017. So it looks like I'm going up on the 17th up to Te Hapua, up to um, Kaitaia first with Bundy, the Paramount Chief, and uh, Hedewini Kraka, or Selwyn Clark, appropriate, and uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini. So those are our three Paramount Chiefs in this legal documentation and constitution, 1846 constitution and 1852 constitution, British constitution, made for us. This government had no right to alter it. They altered it for their Queen's Crown Court, but not our King's Crown Court. It still remains 1846 and 1852 constitution our constitution we force on an unconstituted government. Okay, we have the constitution of a king and it's forced on unconstituted governments because they didn't protect themselves with a constitution. America's got a constitution, the federal state abuses it because they use the Queen's federal state laws they made up and we are a federal state as well. This is a king's federal state government and they've got a queen's federal state second hand government. So America, this overrides your jurisdiction of US federal state government. You wonder why they want to shut it down. Trump is responsible to shut it down because it has no power over this flag. 
We've already warned you. We've already warned you on this video. We're citing the US federal state is criminal. And we're shutting it down with this flag before you shut it down and get found out. We're putting you on notice. Donald Trump, President, illegal, jurisdiction of Admiralty. You've defrauded the people, conspired to defraud the people of the world. You took over the legacy of Obama and Hillary Clinton and all the rest of the presidents in America. You've carried on that legacy of conspiracy to defraud the people of America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Britain, and the world, Commonwealth countries of the world. You defrauded it and did all the dirty business in America with the United Nations, owned by the Pope, and fueling the wars with all the money you've stolen of the natives of America and Canada. There. Take a look at that. I'm citing you as fact, evidence, in a King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court to the Supreme Court in London. To our case. Your name goes in to our case. If you don't turn up in front of our court hearing when you put it online, you're gone. The British takes their slice out of it. Now I'm going under this formula. Rule of law, 30-70. 30% elite, Queen's, court, and 70% King's Bench Court, bank, creditor. I'll say that again. 30% of the population of the world is the Queen's Bench Court jurisdiction as levy debtors or debtors against the King's Bench Court creditor, 70% of the population of the world. In New Zealand, the same formula applies to 70% of the population of New Zealand. No such tribe over another. They are all the same. In a Moai Crown <coughs> commercial world. We're splitting the odds out. 70% of the population of New Zealand is about 3.125 million people against 1.2 million people, 30%. So 70% of the country is going straight into the creditors' ledger under the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust account. So Cook Street, that recovered money from the thugs the two landowners, the 43 people who got on my road and tampered with my contract with those two landowners or occupiers of the land, that's all they are, occupiers of the land, you can't prove it belongs to you. You can't prove where you got it from, who you got it from and how you got it and whose authority you're on that land. I'm holding the titles here. I can't see any of you producing evidence of a video like this say you have the title in your flesh and blood. I'm here on this video, YouTube, as flesh and blood. It's me, my voice, my looks and my words. To you, the people watching as witness right through the world and the ones I'm naming, John Key, your first son, in the box, and Simon Brent Roundtree, owner of Cook Street, and <coughs> the other one. Um, Roundtree, Sim Simon, Simon Brent Roundtree, and the other, the other one. Anyway, two of you, two of you. James Pierce Brown, two of you, and Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB Police, Aaron Pascoe, CIB Police, Tim Duffy, CIB Police. Those three, you lot are in there. <clears throat> and a few others. But I'm just putting you, you, you lot up first on that block. You all liable each other. And John Key liable the whole of you. And the Governor General before Jerry Matapurai in 
Andrews in London libeled the whole over the English country. And now Patsy Reddy, Governor General, libeled the whole lot of you with Sean Elias, uh, Supreme Court Judge. Uh, um, she libeled the whole lot of you as well. And the Queen libeled the whole lot of you on top of that. And Prince Philip ran away and resigned from his position as Chief in Command of the Royal British Navy. See, go running. Anyway, that's where we are at this court case in Auckland. Once we finish the court case and rule on it, you people are just named. And more, I'm just saying on this video today, those names are right up the front. That court case goes straight online, online case, two hour online case, straight into the Royal Building, Royal Building in London. And they'll rule on it because you didn't defend it. You never did. And all those videos I've done of you and the uh, hand delivered notices that you ignored all along and shut your mouth and said nothing will go against you. It will all go against you. Everyone on Facebook and on YouTube, your name appears in there. Anything I've written, you're gone. The British and the Marshals, not the Marshals, I've done nothing to do with Marshals, the Sheriff. The sheriffs and the paramount chiefs will come around and pick that land straight off you. That's the end of you. You're going to get caught because you've got away with all the money and we're taking all that off you by force of the law. Okay? Not a single shot fired. It's your word against my word. Maui, crown, deeds of truth, title against your whatever. You must respond to this video. All of you must respond to this video and the Paramount Chief who's just got off the phone because he's got the last say in this country, Bundy Waitai and Manahi Parapara Mohini or the Moriori. Paramount Chief, Tira Waikato Whara Here Here Manakao. Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manakao. 1820 to 1830 put the title together of this country to sell it with King George IV and then King George V, the two brothers, with this land. Don't argue because you will not lose, not win this case. You will not win this case if you don't turn up and defend yourself. John Key, I'm naming you as the most prolific bank fraudster in the world and especially on this land here that you were living on. Now you're living in Australia, hiding underneath that federal state. That federal state in Australia, the Commonwealth of Australia, the federal state of Australia is subject to this flag. I'm telling you right now, you have no jurisdiction over this flag. You'll get it taken off you. That's what's going to happen. You'll get it taken off you and return back to the British Navy and military under the British Westminster government because we're making the complaint. We are making the complaint as the second party to the British Navy as being in a private contract with none of your business to say anything. What I say goes. What these Paramount Chiefs say goes. Okay? That's all. See ya. Have a nice day.